Hello Zebrahood, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are back with more of the update stuff. I did wanna see, we buried these guys last episode, we watered them, are they full gyroids? Yes, they are. Look, I talked about Twangoid. <laughs> So I think there are many types of gyroids that we can dig up and they all have their own different effects. We're gonna find out today. Looks like I also dig up a bendoid. So if I remember these from other Animal Crossing games correctly, I can go over here, can place it down. Oh, let me, uh, maybe. I wanna get close to it and place the music. Whoa. So I guess maybe it'll just play when I'm near it if I just activate it. There we go, yeah, you sort of twangs around. I get it now. Uh, what about the bendoid? I'm just kidding, not really facing the right way. <laughs> this guy bends around. <laughs> I love that, very cool. So we'll hold on to those guys for now. Maybe we'll make a little room for them. That'd be fun. We also have some mail, a bunch of Nook shopping stuff because between episodes I bought more of the Mario stuff. So there we go, we'll store all this. I still have a couple more left to buy in today's episode and then eventually we'll have an episode showcasing it all. I know I should have done that, you know, earlier this year when the event actually happened, but I didn't, we gotta move forward. And Sally sent us a letter. What are you up to right now? Something fun, I bet. You always have the greatest ideas. So I was thinking of you, and I guess I'm writing to ask if we can plan to do something together soon. Aw, Sally's so sweet. We'll definitely have to hang out with Sally at some point soon. We also got some Nook Miles for digging up those, uh, those, uh, Gyroids. Nice to meet you, Gyroid. You've discovered your first gyroid. This special occasion deserves some miles, yes, yes. I hope you feel inspired to collect all sorts of different, wonderful gyroids now. So looks like that's sort of a one-off. We get 300 miles for it, pretty cool. And uh, there's also Gyroid Getter. Collect different kinds of gyroids and earn miles in return. So despite once you, once you experience life in their presence, you'll find it hard to resist hunting for more, hmm? All right, very cool. So yeah, we'll put them in here. We'll probably hear them a bit better over the game music in here as well, so that'll be pretty nice. Cause I know that this room, like we do have the music room, I should probably put them over there. My concern is that the room is pretty cluttered at the moment. So maybe we'll just put them in here for now. Of course I have plans for everything in the house, uh, but it's just gonna take time. So for right now, we'll set this up to be a little gyroid museum until maybe we can offer them the Brewster or something. I really don't know what he does in terms of gyroids, if he does anything. That's so interesting. So they'll play a little song together. I like it. Okay then, so the more we get, the more they'll get together and harmonize, which is pretty cool. So the main goal of today's episode, among many things, but the main focus is going to be going to Harvey's Island and checking out what's different there because apparently there's something going on. I'm not exactly sure, but from the details I do remember, basically we can go to Harvey's Island and some of the people that only show up occasionally will show up there permanently. So that'll be interesting. I wonder if, whoa, that's a big tent. That's for the museum, because that's going under re renovations to make room for Brewster's Cafe in the next episode. But yeah, maybe even Red will show up more often. That would be awesome. See, there's lots to do. There's lots to tend to in today's episode, and I'll be doing everything I can to sort of figure that out. With that being said, I do, ooh, already find a little fossil spot, but I do want to also figure out cooking in today's episode. I don't know where exactly I do that. If I need to make some kind of thing for cooking, I'm not quite sure. But there's also some daily chores we gotta do. I didn't grab this fruit last episode. Sorry about that. It's been a bit overwhelming. All of the new stuff I'm trying to get to and make the most of, it's easy to sort of get lost in the details. So if I've not been perfectly efficient, I do apologize. But that's okay, you know? I think Animal Crossing is a lot like life. You sort of just take what's thrown at you and you just sort of choose what you feel like you can handle for that die. Sometimes it's not everything and that's all right. There we go, we got a fossil and I do hear what sounds like a present floating in our direction. Maybe not, I thought I did, maybe it was just to see. Aha, here we go. My ears were not playing tricks on me. Oh wait a moment, I really don't want it to fall in the ocean. Right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I guess we'll open this one up because I'm a bit curious. This is an acorn rug. Sounds like it'd be a nice gift for Sally. So there we go, another recipe for us. Pretty cool. I do hear a... Sounds like it's in this tree. 
Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Weird, I didn't know if I was supposed to shake it out of the tree or not, but it sounded like there was like a cicada or a cricket of some sort. Either way, I'll grab some oranges and stuff. I don't wanna go too crazy with those because we see those all the time. I don't think Gulliver's out here. I also forgot about Gulliver. Sorry, buddy. But we might just wanna get to the interesting stuff right away while we're running around. Uh, let's go to Harvey's Island right now because I don't know how much there is to do here. So if this is gonna take up a ton of our time, it might just be good to get out of the way right away. So we gotta go over to uh, our buddy Orville and we are going to uh, fly to Harvey's Island. Harv's Island. Harv's Island? Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Uh, time for takeoff. I don't know if we need inventory space or anything. We don't have a ton, but. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Well, very you got you copy. You got a walker who needs wings over. Roger, when are you ready when you are? Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Okay, so off to Harv's Island. It's been a while since we've seen this guy. Always fun to catch up. The dodo has landed. Hold on, Harvey is AWOL. Not like him to have been in his post or do much of anything, really. Except, there's a new path over there. Land-based recon's not my area, so looks like it's up to you. All right, sounds good. So the mystery of the missing Harv. Whoa, look at this. It's way more opened up, and who is that? I guess we have some new friends to meet. I see some gyroids hanging out. So did you get the little note I sent you? Well, you must have, since you're here. I'm so excited to share this with you. This, this right here, is going to be the heart of our new collective. I'm really putting my soul into this. Oh, but I've had plenty of help from all kinds of folks along the way, like my old pal here, Harriet here. We go way back. You can call her Hattie for short if you want. They most certainly cannot call me that, Harv. Only you can call me that. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, we'll call her Harriet then. Sorry, Sugar, I'm Harriet. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard all about you from Harv here. Well, uh, there you have it. So, where was I? All oh, right, my dream collective. Well, this is what I envision as the heart of all of the movement. Central Plaza filled with co-ops. Now, here's the business part, where it gets kinda ugly. I ain't even talking about bells, you know? But a co-op can't build itself without a little cooperation. So I think the best idea is to have a little fundraiser. Every time we raise enough capital for a co-op, we get a new one going. God, did I just say capital? Well, I suppose that's my sales pitch. Sorry, <laughs> never was cut off for sales. But I'd be mighty grateful if you were interested in helping us realize this dream. Even if it's only a little bit at a time, every little bit helps. Leave it to me. Oh, that's great. Out of this world. I knew I could count on you to help me, Zebra. I actually got another old pal to volunteer as well. You know my buddy, Lloyd, don't you? Well, he was so kind to reach out to some of his pals, also named Lloyd, and they'll they'll all be volunteering. Oh, so there's all the Lloyds around us, so yeah. Uh, so when you're ready, just go ahead and talk to any old Lloyd about which co-op he's collecting for. Feel free to explore the area, meditate, or snack on some vegan pumpkin nachi. I don't know how to pronounce that one. I've seen that word before, but I don't know how to pronounce it or what it really is if the mood strikes. Thanks again for helping us and I'll see you around. Interesting, so we have a whole new section of Harv's Island. I'll definitely wanna catch up with him. We can see these Lloyds around. Hi, having a great morning, pal? We are accepting donations to fund a mysteriously accurate fortune teller, chum. Our goal is 100,000 bells. Currently we have zero bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 100,000 bells. If you can spare even a single bell, great. We appreciate your support, friend. Uh, maybe another time. I wanna see what all the other options are and we'll sort of get started with this, but I also need to put money aside to upgrade our house. There's so much financially we're tied up in. I see. I well, look forward to your support in the future, pal. This might be something we put in the back burner a bit, but as we continue to expand our funds and our island, we can work on. Hi, having a great morning, pal. We are accepting donations to fund a merchant offering rugs and mysterious wallpapers, partner. This is red. So, I think. Maybe, I, I believe so. There goes 100,000 bells. Currently we have zero bells in donations, which is just lovely. If there's anyone I wanna do, it's definitely red because I want him to show up more often. 
I see you all. I look forward to your support in the future, pal. We got this solid over here. I having a great morning, pal. We're accepting donations to fund an old timer who will give you access to your home storage, mate. Huh. I don't know what that is. Old timer that'll give you access. I don't know. What about this one? Hi, having a great morning. We are accepting donations to fund a talented husband and wife furniture refurbishing team, bud. Huh. So this is all stuff we will have to work on in time, I think. But it's cool just to sort of get started. But they'll refurbish furniture. A bonding expert with the greenest of thumbs, friend. There goes 100,000 votes. So this is Leaf, which is probably one I'm going to unfortunately do last just because Leaf shows up often enough. Oh, what, are the, what is this right here? That's cute. Can pump some water. I think this is the last one. Maybe there's one more. To fund a legitimate art dealer, buddy. Or maybe this is red. I have no clue. I guess we'll sort of have to roll the dice on this one to find out, but I would like to see a legitimate art dealer as well because I want to work on that section of the museum. Hi, having a great morning, pal. They're accepting donations from a dapper dealer of fine shoes and handbags. I forget his name right now, but this guy has shown up at our town a couple of times. So that is also something I want to work on because getting more shoes and handbags would be pretty cool. Just expand our wardrobe and now that's all of them. But what about Harriet? Isn't Harriet somebody we can add to this grouping? I'm not quite sure. But Harriet's around, so maybe we'll talk to them a little bit and just sort of see what's going on. Hey, got a question bouncing around in that noggin? Uh, about the shops. Well, I hope it's not where are all the shops, Harv. <laughs> Trust me, we're working on it. Hope we can have a bus and cooperative here in no time. Now, I hope I don't sound like a banker or anything, but any little donation you make would really help. Just strike up a little conversation with one of the Lloyds to see which shop he's raising funds for. And then put your wallet where your heart is. Okay. What about you? After all my years in the shop, I got used to never being outside. But this new lifestyle is just about the most invigorating thing I've ever done. Who needs indoors? It's pretty cool. See, I guess that's all we can really work on if we don't want to, you know, give over the cash just yet right now. Oh, can I grab these? I can't. <laughs> They're part of the decor. Uh, I guess that's what we'll leave for now. That's still fine. Um, definitely something we will work on over time, but for right now, my focus is upgrading the house to completion. Um, bounce back to Orange Town, yep. <laughs> Roger, let's pack snacks and make tracks. <laughs> I love these guys, the dodos are so fun. But, yeah, that's gonna be expensive. I think across all those, there's like maybe eight of them, right? So that's gonna be 800,000 bells we need to save up. That's practically a whole new house upgrade. Actually, depending on the house upgrade, one of ours right now is like over a million. So I really wanna work on it, because I think the one we're working on right now may be the final one, if not the second to last, something like that. I'm not really sure how it works. Or maybe this is the last upgrade, we just haven't finished paying it off. I'm, I don't really remember. But that's where, you know, it's definitely worth working on our funds a bit. Try to earn money here and there. And with that being said, I should definitely check for money rocks today. I think we passed a money tree potential. And that's something we need to do. We need to put 10,000 bells in there so we can actually make a big return. It's right over this way. Uh, get the shovel. Dig that up. And remember, we want to put 10,000 bells in this one. So what we do is we put this away, then we take out 10,000 bells, turn this way, a lot of you have uh, let me know about this. Did not know this myself, so thank you everyone who let me know. You can bury this in the hole, and whenever that grows, it won't give us 3,000 bells, but instead 30,000, so that's a pretty big reward. We still got our coconuts and stuff around here, and we still have a other huge patch of fruit trees to work on as well. So this will help us make some of that money that we'll need to put towards some of those donation areas. So, and to our house. So definitely progress well worth making. We'll do some of the other stuff that we would like to do in today's episode as well, like going on another Captain Island. That'll be fun. Um, unfortunately, we will not see Brewster today. That'll have to save to next episode because that's still being built. Oh, I do see a mushroom on the floor. I don't know too much about what we can do with the mushrooms just yet, but if I do see the chance of going to side people's houses and hope they're making DIY recipes, we should definitely take that. So Biff is in here and he very often is working on a recipe when we go to his homes or his home 
And it looks like he's not. He's currently cooking stuff up. Oh, yo, Biff. You have outdone yourself. It looks and smells. It looks good and smells amazing, Squirt. What is it? What is it? Glad you asked. I'm making some pumpkin curry. So he's good to share us a recipe, but not a DIY, more of a cooking one. You know, I'm an athlete, right? I've talked about it before. This this is the fuel that keeps me strong. Whoa, my brain just flexed with a sweet idea. I could give you the recipe. We could be chef pals. That'd be great. So there we go. We're gonna be working on cooking later today. It's all about the flavor, okay? Don't sweat the presentation. I don't think, like, this is actually the exact cooking thing I wanted. I love that style, the wood and the, the sort of like the dark metal, the iron, I guess. It looks really good. It's something I wanna get in my home, but I don't think we found that recipe yet. Sort of a shame. We'll work on that, of course, in time. But in the meantime, we have plenty of other things to work on. I gotta go talk to other villagers, hopefully get some recipes from them if their home doesn't look like a Celia's home. But we do have some fruit to get. But yeah, the ore keeps piling up in a good way and also an overwhelming way. Stu's home. So we'll say hi to Stu. I did see Apple outside of her house, so I don't think I'm gonna be too worried about that. Oh wow, he's already got company over. Got a bit of a party now. Let's have to stew first, it's his house, only polite. Hey Zebra, looky, Kyle's here too. It's time for some serious snacking. Ah, uh, let's talk. Kyle's here too, this is so cool, so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe give him something. How would he like, uh, we'll give him, We'll give him an orange. I know it's not much of a reward or much of a gift, but let me go for shit. An orange, yummy, it looks so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna lay on the floor and eat that. Might even share it with the bugs. I don't think they'll really give us too much if we just give them simple things like an orange. Alpha, you can feel the stew style just flowing through this place. Let's talk. Isn't it so stew to invite all of us at the same time? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And I think we just unlocked some Nook Miles for talking to some villagers. That's always good. I'll have to talk to some more soon. But with that out of the way, I think we'll skedaddle out of here. They don't have recipes for us at the moment, but that's okay. But you can see I've given Stu so much fruit that he has just jars of fruit everywhere. So I'm gonna have to start giving them some different stuff. But speaking of fruit, if we still have some trees to shake, I'm gonna get the shaking. I don't think we have any coconut trees down this way. But that's probably something I should work on soon, getting some more coconut trees out here because coconuts make a pretty good return. They don't grow as fast as the other fruits do, it seems. We got so many shells. These fill up the inventory fast, so if I can leave them for now and come back later, probably our best bet. Speaking of inventory, I do need to uh, sort some things sooner or later. I think we should maybe just try to make a trip over to our house. Cause I need to put all this Mario stuff away. But I have the mushrooms out that way too. I saw them up there, we'll talk. We'll, we'll go and get those soon. But we were talking to her off right now. Morning, best time for a walk, right? Let's shot. Urgh. Can't quit yawning. She slept in today. I gotcha. Uh, something up, we'll go ahead and give him maybe something a little bit better. Let's give him a pair. I know that we, we've been trying to you know, make money, but I think it's usually worth a while to do this kind of stuff. They give us some nice stuff in return. A pair, smells darn good too. I'll give you this real, this a real good home in my belly. <laughs> Don't want any freebies, so here, have a striped shirt. Now, I might already have this one, but maybe not. Just my style. Let's try it on right now. Right over this way, striped shirt. Okay, not quite the colors I was expecting. Uh, looking more like where's Wado than a zebra. But still, I appreciate the gift. Gave him a pair, gave us some clothing. That means a lot to me. All right. We got a fossil. Looking good. Now my inventory is just about topped out. So this is where we really got to probably run back soon, but there was Celia up here. I'd like to talk to her as well. Hi, Celia. Hi, Zebra. Feathers. Uh, let's talk. Oh, there's Lionel as well. The weather's just perfect for a stroll around the island, isn't it? Let's see if we can give her something. Uh, here's a gift. You wanna give me something? I think I'll just be handing out pears today. Feels like a pear kind of die. Oh, this is great, it's a pear. Thanks, that's so thoughtful of you. I have something here for you, a bathrobe. Oh wow, fancy. So I might just go for right now and drop this rock. I think I'll, I'll be okay if I don't have a rock, you know? Uh, but where was the yeah, Lionel right here? Ciao, precisely. 
There's nothing like a fall, like fall on stripe. I'm just basking in a zebra. I'm glad you are. Uh, do you want this? So let's go ahead and give him a pair as well. Just giving out pairs of pairs. Oh, could you hear my tummy rumbling? Is that what you got? Why well, you got me this pair? Just gonna tuck that away for five minutes from now. Hold up, I can't just give you, let you give me something this good for free. Let's see if I have anything decent to give you. Aha, how about a bomber style jacket, eh? Cool, so we're getting some nice clothing today. So let's take a look at what we got. Um, our bomber style jacket, which I believe we've gotten before, but it looks cool and green. I don't think we've gotten that color. Uh, and then the bathrobe. Oh yeah, our pockets are too full because I think that picks up a couple of things. But I could get our pumpkin curry. Huh, okay. Yeah, now I can make some pumpkin curry. That's good, we've made plenty of pumpkins this season, so make the most of that. It's a nice pink bathrobe. So let's put on our clothes that we had before. See, I think now might be the best time to swing back home, put some stuff away, but then we'll go back to talk to villagers and stuff, should be good. Oh, there's Sally as well. I guess I don't have enough inventory right now. Maybe I could put down a weed. Uh, yeah, let's drop this. Because another thing I need to focus on for Nook Miles is talking to every villager every day. I think there's another uh, milestone for that. It was so cold when I sat down, I'm worried I may be frozen here. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Uh, for a stroll zebra? Uh, I guess I can't really give them too much if they're sitting down like that. So we'll just leave all that there. Not gonna worry about it too much. I do see Apple will go and talk to her soon enough. But for right now, I wanna go back home, organize our inventory. Lots of stuff we can do there. Whoa, okay, hold on. Let's get that before it's over the river. I need to move back. Go, go, go. Right about there. Oh no, oh, that broke my slingshot. Oh no, it's in the line for my colorful slingshot. Oh, where did it go? Okay, so that seems to happen. If I'm not careful, if it lands on objects, it just disappears, which is sort of a shame. I don't know why it does that. It is what it is. Let's move on. We'll try not to do that anymore. And yeah, let me organize some stuff real quick. Okay, so I just collected a bunch of fruit there and I did see our message in the bottle over this way, so I definitely wanna grab that for today. As you can see, I can open this up and we get, I was just zoning out in the bathtub when a great DIY recipe popped into my head that I had to write down. I just had to share it, so I stuffed it into a bottle and floated it to you. Try it out, you won't be sorry, off you go. So we got an ironwood DIY workbench, which I think we already have. Ironwood always gets me excited because that's the thing that I was just saying that Biff had that I really wish I had is that ironwood cooking bench. I just don't think we have that one, but I definitely want to work on more ironwood stuff in time. For right now though, uh, I do have a good amount of stuff in my inventory. Most of the stuff I want to sell. So I'm just trying to, ooh, have I found these bugs? I'm pretty sure I have. These are like little silver fish. I'm gonna find out. There we go. <laughs> and I call it a wharf roach. That's what it is. Yeah, there's just so much to do right now. It's a little overwhelming, but we're just trying our best with everything. So I wanna try to fill out my inventory, maybe keep a couple of pairs so I can give those to uh, Apple and maybe whoever else might want some. Because I think Apple and Pashmin are the two uh, villagers we still need to talk to. And I hear yet another, maybe I do? Aha, there it is. Let's go ahead and, oh, that's right. I forgot my slingshot broke. Okay, you just wait right there then. Hopefully it'll still be flaunting around by the time we uh, run back over. I'll need to get a new slingshot and upgrade that soon enough, but we're working on everything. We're making progress. What have they got in here? Hi guys. So first off, if you don't mind, I wanna sell. We are offering, oh, I need to get, oh, that's right, I can't even get my fossils checked out today. That's sort of a shame. Oh, I don't, I wanna keep the bathroom. I forgot to put that stuff away. I, I suppose I got a little bit distracted. So I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll keep, maybe I'll keep a couple of cherries this time. There we go. And that's gonna be 30,000 bells, which is fantastic. So we could technically upgrade something right now. But I, like, like I said, I need to focus on some other things first. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, got an IV drip. Okay. I guess we wanted to work on some kind of medical facility. Got a punching bag as well and a briefcase, mysterious. I don't think there's anything else really to buy around here today. But I do need to get that new slingshot for now. 
Got an outdoorsy slingshot. Looks good, I'll buy it. And I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, thank you guys very much. We'll see you later. We also need to start checking out the uh, clothes store a little bit more because I know that with the new update, they did add more clothing options. So there's just lots to check out. There's lots on the to-do list, like I said. So hopefully that's something we can keep improving. Oh yeah, and KK's out here today. So maybe we could try that out. I don't hear the balloon anywhere. Unfortunately. That's always a shame when that happens. Anyways, uh, we'll look around. Like I said, Pashmina and Apple are the two villagers we still need, and Gigi, we still need to talk to today. So many villagers, it can be hard to keep up. Oh, but look at Apple just hanging out, enjoying a little drink on her uh, outdoor furniture. Good morning, cheekers. Uh, let's chat. I love all the amazing discoveries I make in my walks. I keep flowers and places to hide things. So maybe I can't give her anything when she's sitting. What's up, do you wanna practice being pop stars together? Uh, let's talk. Ball makes me feel all sentimental. Ever think about that word, sentimental? It's, fr it's from 1749, which sounds like a low score. Not a year, but they don't let me make the calendars. Anywho, sentiment is the French spelling from the 1400s, and that's from the Latin senti, aka feel, BT dubs. Interesting. So we got some, I think, etymology, the uh, study of words. I read all this in a magazine I found on the bus. I toad left my phone at home and had to make do. Oh, I just realized I'm kind of sentimental about that bus trip. Well, it's always good, you know, put the phone down every once in a while and do some reading. Okay, so let's go ahead, hop over here. We've got a new type of mushroom. I haven't seen that one, so that's exciting. I do see Sally over there. We did talk to Sally before. So now it's just Gigi and Pashmina are the two on our chatting list, I suppose. So hopefully we'll see them run around. Alrighty, we're up here now. I do see a couple things. First off, I do need to work on getting the, oh no, the money rock today. I don't think I wanna be worrying too much about other kinds of rocks, but if I could get the money rock, that'd be good. So as soon as I get that, I'll probably just be done with hitting rocks on our main island today. Let's go way back over this way. Hi, Sally, don't mind me. Just doing things I do every day. Okay, so it's not this one. Like I said, I don't wanna go too crazy with it today. Just because we have so much things we're trying to dedicate our time to nowadays in this game, which is both a good thing and bad thing. That's sort of the fun thing about keeping busy is it's so engaging and interesting, just like in everyday life. Um, but also, it can be a bit overwhelming to be and be so busy and to keep busy like that. It's funny, I was saying that last episode, Animal Crossing, in, in some weird ways, is a lot like life. And it's interesting, I find that similar to other games like Minecraft. I feel like Minecraft is a lot like life in the way that when you play these kind of games, it's impossible to do everything because you can really do anything you set your mind to. So you really have to make it your purpose to do what you wanna do and experience what you have the time to experience. Make the most of that. With Animal Crossing, it's a bit easier to do quote unquote everything than is in Minecraft, but I think still the same general concept. There's Stu, so I guess uh, him and Kyle are done their little get together. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. This sounds like the money rock to me, this sounds like coins. There we go. So that's some good money for us. That gets us from about 110,000 bells to, about to find out. Uh, 121, so yeah, some good money. Definitely worth getting. So we already talked to Celia. I'm guessing Pashmina and Gigi are at their home, son. Which is good, maybe we'll learn some DI recipes from them. That's Kyle's house. No, Pashmina's somewhere. Hmm, where could she be? And it narrows it down a little bit, she's definitely not there. <laughs> she's definitely not at the museum. And we'll talk to KK soon. I wanna definitely do the KK concert so we can get more songs that way. That's always good. But it looks like Gigi's home. 
So go and say hi to her. Okay, hi there, Gigi. Why, hello, Zebra. As I say, my fabulous home is your fabulous home, Rabat. Uh, what's the latest? I'm getting something from you. I'm getting something from you today that's very simple, almost minimalist. And I've just realized what it is. It's coming from your subdued layered shirt. Oh, nice. I guess she enjoys my uh, clothing today. Do you need something from me? Uh, this is for you. That's not the only thing I'm giving you is my uh, grace of fashion. Whoa, I have all this money. When did I get that there? Weird. Um, We are going to give you... Yeah, we have a cherry. We'll go ahead and give you a cherry. A cherry? My, my. Thank you, Zebra. I can't wait to try it. How can I thank you? Ha! Ah, why don't you take this reward of a shaved ice maker? Well, that sounds fancy. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got a shaved ice maker. Thank you for your kindness. It's always appreciated. So now, like I said, all we need to find is Pashmina. I have no clue where she is. We've been running up and down this entire island all day. I haven't seen her once. But there's some villagers that are simply just good at that, just tucking away, and you just don't ever see them. Pashmina is definitely one of those villagers that's good at not being seen when they're not trying to be. Okay, well for right now, we'll go to the Able Sisters and see if there's anything to buy. We also have another fossil spot, which unfortunately, like I said, will have to be saved for tomorrow, but I guess we could put them down in our house. We'll get this out of the way, maybe grab a couple more oranges. We'll find Pashmina eventually. Maybe she's even in here, you never know. Aha, there you are. Hey there, welcome to the Evil Sisters. Yep, we know. Hello. Hey, Zebra, what are you here to see, kidders? Uh, let's talk. I'm not really the trendy type, but I'm gonna complain to something I got here caught on, kidders. I mean, yeah, there is a bit of a difference between being trendy and a trendsetter. There's different appeals to each. What is it, what is it, I wanna see? So we're gonna give her a cherry. There's something tastier than a cherry, or there's nothing tastier than a cherry. Thanks, I could eat these for days. They're scary, good kidders. Well, one good deed deserves another. Here, have a jumper work suit. Cool. So that's fun. Let's go into the uh, fitting room and see what we can find here. I don't wanna spend too much money, but we do have things like a cycling shirt. We have a fancy morning coat. A mountain parka. I do like those, those look pretty cool. So maybe we'll get that. We also have some shirts, the Vita Isolana printed layer shirt. Hmm. For now, we'll keep with the parka. Got a worker jacket, sleeved apron, um, some shorts, got the outdoor shorts. These are pretty cool, sort of out of season now. Uh, getting colder, we got some slacks. Sweatpants we've definitely seen. The tennis skirt we've definitely seen, the Academy uniform I think is all pretty familiar. Well, the Nintendo mesh cap, I like that. Some different colors with that. I do like the green, that is my favorite color. Maybe we'll keep with that. We got a little strawberry hat, that's adorable. And we've definitely seen the gestures masks and I think we've seen these glasses before as well. And the square glasses. Any new shoes? Once again, no. We've seen all these. Where did I get this hat? I didn't mean to equip this one. Yeah, I guess we have a safety helmet. I'll go back to this one, or do I want to keep with this? This does keep with my typical color scheme a bit better. Maybe I'll do this one. And you know what, we'll equip this now, just so that we can keep with our look here. Very cool, not too expensive, and we, it's mostly the same look, but it's a little different, you know, in some ways. I'm not much of a super fashionable person, but I try my best. Okay, so with that done, Let's go back home, like I said, maybe organize a little bit more. And if everything is good to go, maybe we could go to one of Captain's Islands and see what cool stuff we find. Okay, so let's organize some stuff here as well. I do wanna pull up the uh, Nook Shopping. I don't know if I can actually do the ABD stuff here. Oh, I guess I can. But one thing I can do with our 119,000 bells that we have out at the moment is that I can buy the rest of this. So I have the rest of the Mario stuff. We got up to the Wario shoes. I've been buying a little bit each time we play. But now I need to buy the Mushroom Mural the block flooring, the Lakitu's cloud rug, and the Yoshi's egg rug. So at some point, some upcoming episode, I do wanna dedicate it to checking out all that kind of cool stuff. That'll be fun. And we also have the handheld lantern, part of the lantern festival in Europe. 
Interesting. Be cool if they gave us a little bit more information about these different events. Because I've never heard of the Lantern Festival. That sounds fun. But you can see the fossils I have on the ground right here. Just so that I can uh, sort of deal with that later. Let me go in here though real quick. I don't know if I have any cooking stations right now, but that is something I've been wanting to work on, is being able to cook. Uh, so maybe we'll just do that in this room for now. This is eventually gonna be the kitchen room. That's what I want for it. So I think it'd be quite fitting if I just get it set up in here. So first off, housewares, miscellaneous. I think it'd be in housewares. Or looking any kind of stove or sink. I think there are specific things we can cook at, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really sure how this works. So I think I will put out the gas range and put out the sink. And we'll just sort of see, or maybe even the clay furnace. We have those in our pockets now. Let's put out the clay furnace first. Not exactly the uh, cooking station of my dreams in terms of aesthetic, but should I make something with the clay furnace here? Yes, here we go, let's cook. So this is what cooking is like. We have flour, whole wheat flour, sugar, brown sugar, and then all the recipes we can make with those kind of ingredients. So we have things like the carrot cake or the brown sugar cupcakes, the orange smoothie, the pancakes. Maybe we'll make a couple of things each day. If I can remember, it depends on what we're in the mood for. We got craftable, sweet, savory, and our favorites. I don't have, you know, space for everything, but that's where I, you know, I caught some fish last episode. I wanted to make whatever recipes we earned with those. So first, right now, I'm sure we'll have to make, how do we make wheat? Huh. Also sugar cane, which we have, huh. Cause we do have, what turns in the sugar cane, and we have plenty of it, as far as I know, uh, down this way somewhere. Let's take a look, we have so many pumpkins. We'll definitely be able to make something with that. But yeah, the bamboo pieces, I think turn into sugar cane, I'm not really sure. So this is a bit interesting. I'll have to look that up, how we make wheat and how we make sugar cane. But in the meantime, there might be some other options as well. We have things like the orange smoothie, which we just need oranges. I can make that right now. Let's prep. Very cool. So our first crafted recipe, look what I made, an orange smoothie. Let's continue prepping. There's not really, oh, there is a marker to show that we've crafted it on the check on the bottom right there, so that's cool. So we'll definitely try to just make everything on our list at some point or another. We got the carrot, Potage, which I guess is flour and carrot. We don't have carrots at the moment, and that's something I don't really know. How do we get this kind of stuff? Maybe this is from leaf? That's definitely something we'll work on over time. Seaweed we can get, I think, from the ocean, I'd imagine. Um, oh, here we go, pumpkin beagle sandwich. I'm not really a big fan of pumpkin personally, but that seems like an interesting meal. I don't have flour, so there's a lot of stuff here I can't quite get to, but the anchovy, I would need more anchovies, but I guess it shows that we need to start putting some of our stuff away for ingredients more than just selling it. Whole wheat flour for the organic bread. The nochi de potato, we don't have potatoes. Uh, flour and tomato, so a lot of stuff we have to grow. Flour and pumpkin, that'd be for the pumpkin curry. The barred knife jaw, I can make this right now, the barred knife jaw carpaccio. Let's prep. So there we go, ta-da! Look what I made, some barred knife jaw carpa carpaccio. Let's continue prepping. I don't know if eating this stuff will really make too much of a difference for us, but we do have more new stuff. We got the sea bass pie. I don't need flour, so can't quite. Grilled sea bass with herbs. We need weeds, weeds count as herbs, that's interesting. Um, but we do have the sea bass for that, so I might go ahead real quick and get some weeds out. I think I will alphabetical, go all the way down here. Where are the weeds? Thought I had some. Well, I guess it might be under C for clumps of weeds. Not really sure. Gotta be somewhere, right? I have a lot of items at this point, don't I? We have 643 out of 80. Aha, here we go. So I'll just get the smaller one. We need to go to leaf soon. We have hundreds of weeds. Okay, back over to here. So it was the, um, the fish with herbs. Grilled sea bass with herbs. There we go, let's prep it. Very cool. Look what I made, some grilled sea bass with herbs. Let's continue. Uh, this is the aji fry, we need flowers. The tomato puree. 
sardines and oil. We just need an anchovy. We haven't made this one, so might as well go for it. So we'll have to keep fishing as well. There's just, there's so much to do in this game, which is like a good thing, but also a crazy overwhelming thing. Um, We have brown sugar cupcakes. We need whole wheat flour and brown sugar. Uh, Carrot cake, we need flour, sugar, and carrot. And finally, pancakes, we just need flour and sugar. Interesting. So a whole host of things that we'll have to keep working on. Alphabetical order obtained series. So there's not actually any way to sort it by what we haven't crafted before. Which would be good for like long-term nook miles is to craft everything we can. Um, but yeah, with that done, there's some stuff I wanna put away here. Cause I guess I don't need the gas range. Could I cook with the gas range though? Okay, I could. Um, not right now. But I do think I'd like that more than this out here. There we go. I really do like this. And this is where I wanna work on some cooking stuff sooner or later, or a kitchen in general. Pretty cool that they added cooking to support that concept. But for now, that's fine. We'll put that away. So I'll start putting fish away. It might not be the best way to, uh... I can show it off. Ta-da! <laughs> Delicious. We could, of course, eat it. We could place it. We could put it in storage. I could also consider selling it. I'm not really sure what the perks of each thing are, but uh, we had our shaved ice maker here, which uh, I might already have one. I'll have to take a look at that. The utility sink will put away. The shaved ice maker will put away. And I gotta put some money in the ABD. Maybe I could consider seeing how much those uh, created foods will sell. Maybe they'll sell for more than the fish we would have made them with or sold with. You know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to word that, but I think you understand what I'm trying to get across. It might actually make us more money to create foods with those fish than just to sell them up right. We're gonna find out right now. Because I have a couple of things in my inventory I definitely sort of want to work on getting rid of. But then we gotta talk to KK, gotta go and put some money away at EBD, and then we can go to one of Cap'n's Islands. Okay, so first things first, I wanna sell. We are going to offer Let's just offer a group of these and see how much the group sells for. Confirm. 7,140, I feel like that's definitely more than four, four fish would sell or five fish. So I think that maybe that's something that we'll keep with. That's some pretty good money. Uh, we're gonna keep talking. I wanna sell. We'll sell this and some fruit. And then we're looking pretty cleaned out. So with a total of 119,000 bells, that is definitely gonna make some progress for paying off what we need to. I think we needed 700,000 in total. I don't know how close we are to that, but that's what we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so back over here. Hey, KK, how are you? Hey, what's buzzing? I'm putting on another show today before I hit the road again. I'm not taking requests right now. I just wanna do my thing. Let the music take me where it wants to be. Start taking, oh wow. Okay, that's much later from now. I think it's, uh. 11.58 right now, so maybe I'll come back later on my own time to do that. Hopefully I remember. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but I don't think there'll be anything in here. Actually, there's a throwback gothic mirror. Ooh, spooky. And right now my focus, there's a couple things you can buy from the Nook Biles actually that we didn't buy last episode just because I was spending so much time, but we have like things like the pro decorating license this sounds like it'd be good. A lot of this stuff is pretty pricey for miles, but this is exactly why we spent miles or saved up miles for so long. Because there's still like a lot I could spend my miles on, but I also know that once we sort of get through most of that, we can also exchange our miles for just straight up bells or nook tickets we can get that just give us bells. So that might be another quick way. Either way, we got our pro decorating lessons. Now I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. That's cool. So I guess that's how we can maybe make different colored walls for each side. And like I said, ceiling stuff. That's pretty cool. Let's redeem more Nook Miles. This time we're doing custom fencing in a flash. Redeem 2,500 miles, custom fencing in a flash. Yep, sounds good to me. So our order has been printed, looking fantastic. Huh, okay. 
whoa, I can customize fencing. Now there are no barriers to mixing things up with colorful fencing. Interesting. Uh, let's redeem more Nook Biles. This time we have New Reactions Notebook. What is this? This seems interesting. Redeem. This one's the most expensive out of the three. Definitely spending some good miles today, but that's what it's there for. So we got... Whoa, I learned some new reactions. I can press ZR to see all of them and show everyone what I'm thinking. Interesting. So I press ZR, obviously, but I can see all of them. Whoa, there's so many now I can say cheese. That is so adorable. Man, I will have to look through all these. We almost have all of them, which is really exciting. Uh, could do something like uh, eager. Yeah, so let's see what Nook Miles we just got for that. Reaction Ruler, get Miles. So it gets 42 out of 42. I do think there's more than that now, so that's pretty exciting. And we made a good chunk of it back then. Very cool. You can see there's probably, we need to work on some stuff soon to get some extra miles around here. Some of this stuff is still blank though. It's a bit of a mystery. Uh, we're going back in. We're deeming more Nook Miles. So top four fab hairstyles is new, I think. It wouldn't be here if I already had it. That'd be a little weird. So there is that. Top four fab hairstyles. Your order has been printed. Nice. So I'll have to take a look at those. I see this totally makes sense. Always love seeing more hairstyles. I learned some new hairstyles. I bet it'll look pretty fab with these. Just need a vanity or a mirror. Okay. And then one more time, is there anything else in here? Already have these fences, I think? I actually don't know if I had the log fence, so maybe we'll do that. And there's a donation box, which I don't really know what that's about. I wish there was a way to buy things in bulk, to be honest with you, uh, because it does get a little tedious, it's going in over and over, but I'm pretty sure we don't have the log fence. Yep, one more, another selection. Donation box. The donation box to is 800 miles. Yep. Surprising that after all this, we still have over 40,000 miles. We spent a lot right now. Very cool. So we'll look through those soon enough. For right now, is there anything else I want to exchange for in here or anywhere? Feels like they might have been add they might have added new stuff like this volleyball net. Seems pretty cool. This park fountain. Ooh, some of this is tempting. I will have to consider some of it. There is definitely new stuff here out of here. Inflatable plaza toy, whoa. A lighthouse, wow, a monster statue we've seen. The plaza game stand, look at all this. Okay, very cool. Wow, we can make our own little circus. There's some extra Tom Nook stuff here. I'll have to work on that soon too. I don't know which one of these I do or do not have. Either way, well that was everything I see. Okay, uh, for right now, we'll look at those DIY recipes. Uh, also ABD. So right now we have, we need to pay off 1.16 million. We have 749,000 in our savings. We can deposit another 100,000 right now, I think. Right there. So we're getting a whole lot closer paying off that loan. Only a couple hundred thousand more to go. And if we really focus on that in the next couple of episodes, I'm sure we can make a pretty major dent. Just having that focused effort is always good. So, in the meantime, let's learn our log fence recipe if we don't have this one. Yeah, I guess we didn't. So there we go, another log fence. Uh, and we have the donation box. Huh, okay. So yeah, I want a DIY recipe for a donation box. And I don't really know what the donation box does, so I'm very curious about that. That is something that was new added with this update as far as I can tell. So that is definitely something I wanna make soon. But in the meantime, KK still jamming out. We have plenty of inventory space. I think it's good time as ever to go skedaddle and see Cap'n and just go on a little island adventure. Should be fun. Okay then, so let's go and talk to Cap'n over here. Hmm, you ready to take a tour? Round trip fare costs you a thousand miles. Sounds good to me. Let's sail the seas. Got that transfer real quick. And let's get to it. Time to set sail. 
See, I'm excited to see what goes on here, what we can really, you know, experience. Is he gonna sing a new song? Oh, castaways. Oh, I can clap. Oh, it's so cute. I've known some castaways offered to help them out, but they said they was fine. Once you get used to that life, there just ain't no going back. It's just fun in the sun. Guess it's really does seem quite divine. <laughs> okay, I'm not much of a singer in a pirate voice. Reach for your dreams, Zebra. I will. My dream is to be the fastest clapper of all time. <laughs> you can really clap really fast. Remember whenever you hear the song, life is a trip full of discovery. Ooh. Okay, great stuff. Ah, I can react. Oh my gosh, can I really react? That's a one, one fun way to fill the time as we travel over. Which is basically just a loading screen. Yar, we arrived. I'll be here waiting for you when you're needing tools or if you're wanting to set sail from home. Whoa, we got carrots, awesome. Maybe I could plant these back in my own place. That'd be perfect, maybe this is how we get the new vegetables and stuff that we'll be able to use for recipes. This is so exciting. So let's definitely dig those up, bring those home. That is actually really exciting. Okay. Oh no, and my shovel broke. Not the best timing, but I can run over to um, our buddy over there. Hey, hey. Um, no, I'm not ready to go home, but I do need more tools. Your flimsy shovel will cost you 100 miles. Sounds like a fine deal to me. You can make 100 miles back pretty easily. But now with this shovel, I need to <laughs> Hopefully get a piece of iron out of this. Imagine this is a rock where I don't get any. There we go, I just need one. Nothing too major. And with that, I should be able just to make a better shovel. Uh. Oh no, I do have this. Why did I think I didn't? Huh, weird. But there was still other iron wood stuff I'm pretty sure I need to make. That is weird. I just could have sworn I didn't have that. I'll have to look at that later. Anyways, shovel time. There we go. I made a shovel. Uh, we're all done for now. So yeah, I can go ahead and equip that shovel again. That'd be great. And let's dig this up. We got another piece of a gyroid. Always exciting, we'll, we'll bury that later today. And of course, there's plenty of things to get on the trees. Looks like we don't have money on the trees this time around, but that's okay. Can't always get that. I do see more carrots waiting for us up there, which is exciting. We'll get to that soon enough. And then if we have any extra inventory space after finding all this, I think it would be a great opportunity to go and fish. And maybe we'll find some more recipes in regards to fishing. I wonder if there's any recipes you can get for bug catching, because I know that there's different cultures around the world that actually do have a lot of bugs in their diet. So it'd be interesting if they incorporated some bug related meals. And speaking of meals, we do have a message in a bottle that has a cooking recipe. I was planning out my routine for the day when I suddenly had an idea for a muscular new flavor. I tried, but I just couldn't focus on working out until I wrote it down. Go treat those taste buds. All right, we got plain scones. I've heard the word scones before, but I can't remember what those are. I know I can make some plain scones, but I guess we can learn together at some point. Exciting. So yeah, we will definitely have to go to Captain's Islands every time we play so that we can get potentially different crops that we can grab. Like a bustling food metropolis or something like that. We did sell the uh, the bushes for a good amount of money last time too. So we'll probably fill our inventory up with those and maybe there's something we can do. But you'd think we'd be able to shake these up and harvest something from them, but you really can't. It's a little weird. I don't know if there's maybe a bigger purpose for these or if they're purely for decoration. You guys know, you can feel free to let me know. Either way, there's that out of the way. And I think, yeah, we're good to hop across. We'll shake some stuff up over here. I'm not as excited to get some oranges, but you know, I'll take what I can get. See, that's where I'm a bit curious. Would it be more cost efficient to not sell our oranges, but to turn them all into the orange juice thing. You know? That's where I'm a little curious. We'll have to take a look at that. 
really compare and contrast because that could be long term worth our effort. Right now we will uh, pick those up and then dig these out. This is nice, this means we don't have to buy our own carrot starts. We can just bury these and we'll be good to go. Hmm. See some more over here. Whoa. <laughs> so we'll grab that one. I did miss one on that side, but we'll, we'll make our way around the long way. For now. Get up here. Got more to shovel up. But yeah, so far there's this, every time we think we've sort of experienced a lot of the update, it seems like just more stuff sort of comes into surprises, which is real exciting. So we'll grab that carrot. I don't know if digging it would be a good idea if there's still carrots to pick up, so I don't wanna risk it for now. Shake this one. Not seeing too many other gyroid places or any at all. I was hoping to find at least two, but maybe one at a time is all I can really hope for. Still though, if we get a new gyroid every day, I'm sure that'll stack up pretty fast. They're not like fossils where we sort of either donate them or sell them and that's it. Which probably also means there's just simply not as many to find as there would be fossils, which would make sense. Okay, so we got that. Take this up. One right over here. And then two more over that line. And how's our inventory looking? We're actually already almost, well, we are full. Okay, I might have to scratch some plans then. I definitely want the carrots, if possible. And what's more important to me than the holly bush is gonna be the, the uh, ripe carrot plant. So, or I could just toss these. I have a lot of them already. Oh no. So let's get this last one. And if that's my full inventory, then that's that. You know, we try to get what we can out of this, and I think we made it worth our while. Got to, you know, only exchange a thousand for this. Oh, there's still more carrots up here. Hold on, <laughs> might not quite be done. What else can I make room for? First off, can shake these up, grab some oranges. Oh, is that it? We're gonna drop it for now. Carrots are way more important. Which carrots do sack? which is a big convenience. But I'd like to keep everything I have here. I mean, obviously the oranges aren't too important, but I don't want to be making room for one more, but I think that I could probably, if these are gonna show up every time, I think I'll be okay. If I just, you know, plant those real quick. Okay, I know. It's very picky about this. If they're gonna be showing up off often, then I think it's fine to leave some behind in exchange for the carrots. But hopefully we run into some of the other types of material like wheat or uh, potatoes. Would certainly be something nice to find. But maybe we could use those, the weeds to make wheat. I'm not really sure how it works. Cause this sort of looks like wheat already, doesn't it? I mean, maybe it is. No, it's just wheat. Or it's just weeds, so we'll have to sort of figure that out. But in the meantime, I think we're good to head home for now. Let's go back to Stripe and finish off our to-do list a bit. So before I go back home, I wanted to go to Timmy and Tommy's just because our inventory is already bustling with stuff. I want to sell all these hollies and then I want to offer one orange and see how much one orange is. So first off, holly bush, we have six of them. And the coconuts, actually maybe we should hold on to them just in case we get some recipes for it. Might end up being worth our while to start doing that. So first off, off of, off of the holly bushes, 840 bells. So divide that by six, probably a little bit more than like, maybe around 140 or something like that per, per bush. You know, it's something. It's definitely not the most useful thing to put in our inventory comparatively to some other things. So we might start leaving those uh, for right now though. I just wanna put one. So how do I do that? Uh, grab one, put it there, perfect. And just offer this, see how much this is and see how much it might be to offer one of those drinks. So here you go. I'm guessing, I think it's 100 bells because it's our island fruit, it's very common for us. So we'll have to see how much that drink costs and see if it's more cost effective to use that instead. So let's go home and start figuring that out.
Oh, so we just entered our house and we have the pro decorating license. Time to learn about accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. Accent walls. You can hang a different type of wallpaper on one of the walls in a room to create an accent wall. While in decorating mode, use right, then select the wallpaper, press X to set up the accent wall. Hanging items from the ceiling, you can hang textures, fixtures, and other items from a room ceiling. While in decorating mode, you, you can use the plus button to swap modes so you can edit ceiling fixtures. Very cool. So that'll definitely help with customization. We'll definitely get to that sooner or later. For now though, let's go over here and get cooking a little bit. Um, like I said, we want to make that orange into something. Those are the carrots available, so maybe there's something we can cook up. But for right now, let's cook. We'll just see what's craftable. So for right now, we just have the orange smoothie. So it takes two oranges to make an orange smoothie. Let's prep. So that means this has to be more than 200 bells to sell to actually be worth the money to do that. If not, it's just gonna be better just to smell, to, to sell oranges straight up. We're gonna find out, we're gonna turn all these into orange smoothies and we'll just sell one at a time and sort of see what price that gets us. Be a lot of experimentation. It takes time to do all this stuff, but if it is better, it will be way more worth it. Turning all of our resources into more profit is super exciting and is really gonna help us pot out all the bells we need to make. We need to make a lot of bells. We need to pay off this loan. We need to open up the shops on Harv's Island. We have a tall order in front of us. So order up, have a smoothie. Okay, so we're gonna leave that there and we're gonna run back to Timmy and Tommy's, but ooh, we get more Nook Miles for that. See, I'm sure there's a whole host of Nook Miles that we can earn up simply just with all the new recipe stuff. But, I don't have anything there just yet. Right over here. Mmm, -mm, Miles. Gathering ingredients and creating delicious treats is great fun, is it not? Yes, yes, I do believe our chefs out there deserve Miles for all the time they've prepared something delicious. So nine out of five, we get 300. And if we really do make more money from this than just selling them normally, we'll be back here soon. Because we'll be making a lot out of that. We'll be able to tally up that Nook Mile pretty easily. Okay, back to Timmy and Tommy, and I think we'll probably top things off there for today's episode. There's lots to do in the game right now, so if I don't get to everything, I do apologize, but we're getting closer with each die, and that's pretty exciting. So for right now, we're heading in. Hey guys, so let's see, this is Moment of Truth. It needs to be a minimum of 200 more bells to make any profit, but that'd be a profit of one bell. So we're just gonna offer one orange smoothie, confirm that. Here you go. An orange smoothie, 300 bells, so yes. This is technically 50 bells more, because it took two oranges, right? So 300 divided by two is 150. So technically this would be worth our money. The problem is it would take a while to make all those, so is it worth the time investment? I think for right now, yeah, because we don't have a ton of orange trees, I don't think. But uh, that is definitely something that I'll probably work on between episodes and stuff, just to make a quick amount of cash, I guess. 1,200 bells, pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll have to sort of consider, is that worth the money or worth the time? Uh, but it looks like we have more stuff. Crafting with DIY recipes, you can now craft food and drinks with cooking recipes. Uh, instead of a workbench, you'll need to use a kitchen to prep these items. See how many delicious creations you can cook up. So I you could do this here, but it looks like we also have coconut juice. That's pretty cool. So we'll certainly have to work on all that. Um, you can't make this here. See, there's still some things I need to figure out like, uh, oh, this is why I don't have the iron one dresser or the cutting board. That's why I can't make the kitchen that yet. Okay, well now, now I've remembered. I forgot about all that. So hopefully we can find that stuff sooner or later. But you see, there's, there's a lot of stuff in motion right now, which is exciting, but also a bit overwhelming in some ways. We are going to, I think just about finish everything there. I'll, I'll go ahead and organize this stuff between episodes. I will go and bury our gyroid and I think we'll be done. It's been a ton of fun. Next episode, Harvey's, not Harvey, sorry. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Brewster, that's it, <laughs> took me a second. Brewster's cafe should be finished. We'll be checking that out. That'll be really exciting. And then we'll probably start moving towards a DLC at that point. I wanna make progress with everything else, of course, but 
you know, hopefully we'll be able to juggle everything. Starting to get quite the challenge to do all that with all the content in the game at this point, but no matter what, we'll get there. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.